Welcome to Enor's Introduction to Web Analytics. Our guest speaker today is CEO of Enor, Ferris Ahalu. Our agenda for this brief presentation today is designed to introduce you to the web analytics and how to work with them. We'll then take a couple of questions from our audience and conclude in about 10 minutes time. This next slide is strictly designed by our marketing people to give you some idea of the credentials of Enor. A couple of commonly asked questions we'll get out of the way for right now to avoid uh, any housekeeping issues is will I be able to get the slides after the event? Yes, you will. Will the webcast be archived for future uh, on-demand viewing? Absolutely. And we'll give you contact information at the end of the presentation so you'll be able to find the slides. Without further ado, here's our CEO and today's guest speaker, Ferris Alhulu. Hello everyone. Thanks for attending our webinar. Uh, what I wanted to start off with is just a couple of slides on some references and useful resources. Uh, what you see here on the first slide is uh, books by industry gurus, very recognized authors and bloggers and speakers, um, Jim Stern, Eric Peterson, Avinash, and Brian Clifton. Um, those names of the books and, and, and the links to those are actually available in the slides when you download it after the webinar. Also, you can visit our site, www.enor.com, and our blog for updated information. Um, specifically to Google Analytics, you see on this slide a set of websites, actually, and blogs where uh, there's up-to-date information on, on Google Analytics. All right, so uh, Web Analytics. Uh, this is an intro webinar, so we won't get into a lot of the details. But there, there's some important element that I, I would like to share with you. And if you look at this slide, you'll see a quote from Eric Peterson. Eric, about a year ago or so, had a webinar on the American Marketing Association uh, series. And what he said that, you know, these days it's, it's relatively easy to, to, to see some success with web analytics. Um, there's a lot of uh, free tools out there, including Google Analytics, where you can download and add to your site and start seeing some data. But what, what Eric also, um, he, he highlighted was that a lot of times, you know, we underestimated what it takes to get useful information out of analytics. So the applications out there, whether it's Google Analytics or, or others, uh, they're not sometimes easy for people to use. It, there's some configuration related issues, there is implementation, there's, if you're using a, a log-based type solution, uh, there's a whole lot of implementation involved. So if you don't recognize what's involved, you might underestimate the effort for you as, as a business owner, as a VP of marketing, as you know stakeholder in, in the measurement and analytics in your organization, you might underestimate what's involved uh, to get meaningful you know, insight out of, out of um, you know, your, your data. So knowing that there's an element of implementation and configuration, knowing that there is a lot of data that's sometimes not easily interpreted by, by, by everyone, and knowing that it's a process, you know, web analytics is not a one-time thing. You know, we do, we do implement our solution, but then we need to look at the data. We need to make something out of this data. We need to make improvements. We need to optimize maybe our marketing channel. Maybe we need to optimize our landing pages. So coming into, especially if you're new to analytics, coming into this space knowing what's involved will help you better plan your program and plan your resources. So what is web analytics? Um, again, quoting Eric in his book, Web Analytics Demystified, you know, web analytics is, is looking at a variety of data, you know, looking, get, trying to get a generalized understanding of what the visitor is doing online. Our goal, whether we're web analysts, or whether we're you know marketers, whether we are executives, is is to enhance that user experience for our, our online visitor. And the thought is, once a visitor finds what they're looking for, they reach their goal. 
hopefully it's our goal as well if somebody come into a site to buy something and they cannot find the add to cart button they're not likely to buy so for us as web analysts as marketers as business owners if we use the analytics data to improve that that process of you know finding a product adding to cart check out and make it very easy and smooth for the for the user we are likely to benefit um, and we are likely to help the user reach their goal and one thing to to mention when we are referring to data a lot of times when we speak about analytics uh, we we think of the quantitative aspect we look at number of visits number of page views number of goals and, and conversions uh, which which are really important they tell us what happened on the website but what we also want to um, we don't want to lose track of is the qualitative aspect of analytics looking at you know surveys end user um, feedback you know maybe usability studies maybe online uh, you know a lot of online survey tools are available and, and, and affordable these days so when you're looking to plan your analytics program and your measurement program in your in your organization uh, having Google Analytics having an analytics program installed and configured and up and running is one thing but also we don't want you to lose track of of qualitative data and, and f making sure it's part of your your effort your time your schedules you know your resources your budget is to get qualitative input about what's going on on, on the website so we spoke about about understanding the, the visitors behavior so what does that mean uh, we want to know for example and I have a few bullets here you know what is it that you know what pages that the users are navigating through you know how much time they're spending on those pages what pages are users coming to and they're leaving right away you know as known as you know bounce rates you know and, and again in Google Analytics a bounce you know a bounce is when somebody comes to a page and they leave without going to any other page so knowing what the user is doing and again not individual users for for privacy purposes obviously but more as a as an aggregate number as a, as a bucket as a segment of users looking at what the users are doing and identifying bottlenecks you know identifying what is hindering visitors from reaching their goal maybe downloading a coupon maybe downloading a white paper maybe it is their, the user's goal is to buy something maybe the user's goal is to watch a video maybe the user's goal is to 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 view a demo so removing first identifying those navigational bottlenecks you know what's hindering our visitors from reaching their goals is something that analytics should, should help us identify uh, find and second is once we understand those bottlenecks we should work to Im to Im eliminate them and improve improve that navigation process which hopefully will make the user experience uh, uh, much more pleasant and which also likely to help us get more conversions you know more goals more sales more transactions more downloads more leads whatever the side goals side goals are for you and for your business also another aspect of of analytics is you know is conversion rates you hear this this is a buzzword in the industry I want to improve my conversion rate well conversion rate is basically how many people are are doing a specific action on your site out of a hundred visitors you know we had one visit visitor maybe that that bought something so that's a 1% conversion rate so using analytics using data we will understand we will have information on which traffic is more likely to convert I'm spending ten thousand dollars a month on on AdWords, on paid traffic, on search engine marketing, but I'm getting, I'm seeing very little results. What can I do to my AdWords campaign? How can I better target this campaign so I can get better conversions? That's something that analytics can can help us do. Also, we can look at the different marketing campaigns, different channels, and understand which campaign is giving me a better ROI. With that information, I can go to my marketing manager and help them do more of what's working and do less of what's not working. If you look at that as a process, you'll see this, and this is available on our website as well. You know, we like when, when we consult with a client, we like to step back a little bit before implementation and look, understand the, the client's business, understand their goals, their niches, their competition, understand also their, their marketing channels. What, what, are the, what is it that the business is doing to bring traffic to the website? And then we go into a strategy for the analytics implement uh, program. We plan it, we implement it. And that's when the fun, in a way, starts. That's once we have the analytics 
pro tool implemented, now we start looking at data. We make sure data is accurate. We start looking at reports. We start looking at what's important to your business. Maybe it's you know it's the geography. Maybe it is uh, pages that are visited. Maybe it is um, number of leads. You know, we start to to understand and 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 measure and trend what is uh, what's what's happening on, on on the website. And from that analysis, from this data, we start to find actionable insight. We want to understand what's working and do more of and what's not working and stop doing. So with that we come to a uh, sort of to end our our webinar here. Again it's it's meant to be an introduction and we will have uh, we have a series of, of webinars as well uh, that will uh, dig a little bit deeper into into other aspects of analytics. So I appreciate your time with us. If you have any question uh, please feel free to call us at 408-988-0003 or email us at info at e-nord.com, e-nord.com. Thank you so much and uh, have a good day.